with all my big blue, we'll bring you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. All right, I wasn't going to do a video this weekend, but then I see the Saquon Barkley Daniel Jones controversy. Um, out and about on a Friday night, not wearing masks, clubbing, going to bars. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you, know, you don't want to read too much into it because both Jones and Saquon are young guys. But with everything going on right now with COVID, do you really think it is smart to go out to a club, not practice social distancing, and not wear a mask? And especially for Barkley, because he's set to under, you know, yeah. He's set to undergo, undergo surgery next week to fix his torn ACL. He's, he's, been, he's been strengthening his knee, preparing for the surgery. So he's out and about with Daniel Jones and other teammates. You guys just had a horrid loss to the Philadelphia Eagles, where you blew an 11-point lead with six minutes left in the game. And I understand they're both 23 years old. I, I get that. But do you really think just the optics of it alone make you cringe? I mean, you just got smoked the night before, and you Friday night you're out clubbing without masks and not practicing social distancing. Now, I would be curious to see what this if there's any type of violation in reference to the COVID rule. I'm wondering if there's going to be any type of quarantine period. I assume there's going to be testing. Uh, they are regularly tested. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, it, guys make stupid mistakes. And I understand that. And I get that. But I'm more upset with the optics of the fact that you just had a bad loss the night before. And you are so torn up about it. You're out with DJ Lughead in the meat packing district in New York clubbing. I mean, really? You guys are one and six. I'm not saying you need to stay home and mope. I'm not saying you need to stay home and just be like, oh, you know, you know, and, and wallow in your own self-pity. I'm not saying do that. But this, from an optical, optical perspective, this doesn't look right. You were given Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off by Joe Judge because your next game is not until November 2nd, which is against the Buccaneers. But this is what you're going to do? Now, I would be more upset about this if we had a game, of course, on Sunday. I would, I would you know, you did have two tough games in a short period of time, went in a four or five day span. So I would be more, I would be more upset about that. And it's a Monday game. So, you know, you're gonna ha he's going to have to go through the COVID testing and everything else. But, you know, like I said, I go, on, I go back to the 70s with the Giants. And you, you see, do I ever think and do I ever remember Phil Simms or Eli Manning doing something like this after a horrific loss? And I know that back then wasn't the day of social media, but they still had beat writers. You know, Dick Young over with the Post usually found out stuff about this. But it, it just, it's, it's, you just look at this and you're kind of dumbfounded because you're like, come on, guys. I mean, what do you, what are, truly, what are you thinking? And, and you didn't think that when you were taking a picture with this guy that potentially it could end up on the internet? <laughs> I mean... And Saquon, you're going in for surgery. And I'm not saying these guys are drinking. I'm not saying these guys are doing anything wrong. I think Daniel Jones is drinking in the photo. But like I said, you are potentially violating COVID protocols. We don't know. We do not know the ramifications of what's going to happen next with this. And like I said, I am. I, it doesn't bother me the fact that, like I said, they are going to be tested. I will be more bothered or concerned if one of them you know, contracts COVID itself because of the fact that this is something that could have been avoided. It's, it's about thinking. It's, it's, it's about leadership. It's about not putting yourself in those situations where the optics alone can make you look bad. And I think that's what's bugging me the most about this. And like I said, he's a kid. He's going to make mistakes off the field. But 
where we are right now as a society in reference to this virus, this does not look good. And like I said, you just had a horrific loss. Yeah, I, I like I said, I'm not saying stay home and and and, and wallow in self pity. Like I said, but you need to you need to understand. You are the quarterback of the New York Football Giants. That is a special moniker in itself. And for you not to somewhat respect that and respect the team and respect what's currently going on in New York with this virus. That is more disappointing to me than anything else. And, I, and like I said, it's, you know, we got we to gotta see what happens. It is what it is. But it's just, it's just bona fide stupidity in my mind. And, and it's just totally reckless behavior to do this. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, we're going to do probably a show maybe on Sunday night. Uh, just going over the trade deadline, going over poor Marcus Golden. I am going to miss Marcus Golden. I didn't understand why he didn't. Um, uh, I don't understand why he didn't play more when he was here, but you know what? That's neither here nor there. We'll go over who, what linebackers are going to take over for him, how that's going to work. But I got them. This is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you could subscribe, if you could ring that bell, I think you're on the news. That means, uh...